Hey guys, welcome to another Stubbs Effects tutorial. Today we're doing explosions in Windows Movie Maker. People think that this is going to be complicated and we're going to have to go through a lot of editing, but it's actually really simple. All you need is raw footage of where the explosion will be. After you get your shot, you can go into editing. Okay guys, first thing you're going to want to do is customize Windows Movie Maker so that you can overlay videos onto each other. So I'm in a subsection of Blainsville.com and uh, here's this, this great custom transition that you can do. I'll put the link in the description but if you see here on this page it says instructions for installing and you're gonna have to download Visual Studio 2005, uh, DirectX and then the custom uh, tran transitions. So just start off by downloading each one. So you're going to click on it and click run. So then after you run the installer, you could exit that and go into Windows Movie Maker. Now if you see if you go into transitions over here, you will have a new Blainsville.com compositing A add B. And this basically makes one video go over the other. Now what you're going to do is I'm going to give you a li another link in the description to download my explosion package and in the package you'll have this video and the, the raw footage is from detonationfilms.com and I just put it together so it'll work well into Windows Movie Maker so you have three choices you can do it from the middle from the right or from the left and we'll decide based on our footage which one we're going to use from that package drag it into Windows Movie Maker I'd also drag the sound effect drag it into the timeline now drag your raw video in and put it in front of your explosion now as you see here in my video I'm jumping from the left so what I'm going to do is get the explosion that starts off from the left right here it starts I'm just going to trim so I only have the explosion that's on the left and delete the extra what we're going to do now is go into transitions and take this compositing a add B and put it between the two clips now you'll see how it sort of fades we're gonna drag it to right where right where we jump and as you see here the explosion goes over our raw footage now right now it export your whole video to this computer now if we put the video that we just published to our computer back into Windows Movie Maker and drag it into the timeline we have the option to make the camera shake so if you right click and go into effects and scroll down we get camera jiggle and if you add it you'll see that the camera shakes so now you can just export your video once more and you're done. I can't do this. Alright guys, that's it for today's episode of Stubbs Effects Tutorials. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And keep watching.